Okay, let's continue on. This isn't the last mission either. Your target. Enemy boarding teams. So the MiG carrier returns. We have detected several strange contacts on the surface of the ice ship. Battles and constant acceleration have damaged the ice chunk somewhat, opening fissures and causing some of the chemical ice to boil away in space. We believe that some mercenaries may already be on board the ice ship, sabotaging our mission from within a cave in the ship's surface. Search the cave and destroy any enemies. Hmm. Patrol the surface of the ice ship, find and destroy all enemies. We will have no mech or airfare. Air fighter support, so that's why we couldn't use the air fighter. Destroy all enemies. It's too quiet. I have been patrolling the surface of the ship on and off for days. I feel comfortable in space combat now, but I still prefer the ground. We have seen no signs of enemy activity, though we still have the dropship clearly in our sights. Not more than a hundred clicks away at bearing 94 Mark 15. It keeps the same position along with us for days, just watching and waiting. We are very close, just hours away from the final turn. Once we clear that, nothing short of destruction of the entire ship will prevent us from settling at Lagrange 4, between Leeson and its moon. I have just been called up from the barracks. Apparently there are enemy contacts within a sealed cave on the surface of the ship. I have to go into the cave to flush out the enemy mix hiding there. To make things worse, our sensors are limited by the radiation from Leeson's sun. This might be very short and brutal. We we can't maneuver much cave either. So we'll do group fire and just burn everything. Reactor online. Oh shit! Center online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Yeah, move. What the hell is that? Targeted you piece of crap shit. And I didn't hear that once. What the hell is happening? Group fire engaged. went badly. We wasted a huge amount of time on this. Internal heat at 700 Kelvin. Reactor critical. Shutdown imminent. Chain fire engaged. Emergency heat shutdown overridden. What the hell? Yeah, this went badly, and I don't mean a little badly, I mean extremely badly. We went after the wrong targets, and that's Select not game. all. Logan. We basically reeled our rear to two enemies. Shots at a chain fire when we were supposed to do group Reactor fire. Reactor online. Center online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Again, something's happening. The controls. Enemy mech destroyed. Get rid of your hands. Uh, it's not exactly smooth either here for some reason. Most likely. 
lagging. It's not difficult to aim, but we're not achieving much either. And now it's time for you to suffer. Yeah, the controls are messed up again. I need to pour damage on that one. Please don't move that way. Now this is like a goddamn nightmare. Something. Terrible to play. Group fire. Engage. Chain fire. Engage. Group fire. Engage. Oh. oh, I want to get out of this machine. <laughs> This is terrible. Sensors. Internal heat at 700 Kelvin. Reactor critical. Shutdown imminent. Critical hit. Arm shutting down. I had to shut down. The heat was way too much. It's an reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Don't go near it. Yeah. Weapon Shit. Destroyed. Ejecting. Critical hit. Internal am This is a terrible mission and it's n ah. it has nothing to do with the the mission. It's just it, <laughs> it's so terrible to play. I don't know why. So far we've had no real trouble in any but this like it doesn't really run at all. Select game. Loading. And we have sort of medium to long range weapons that doesn't really help the online. issue. Center online. Weapon online. All systems nominal. Group fire. Engage. I'm trying to go backwards, but this piece of crap isn't moving. Enemy mech destroyed. And now the moment fuck. Yeah, it's weird things are happening here. It's like the physics are gone crazy. Chain fire engage. Enemy mech destroyed. Taking hits 
he hits. about the loss of arms, that doesn't matter at the slightest. I don't want to go near it because I know how painful that labor can be. Let's just burn through it here are uh, uh, it's our our weaponry are much more powerful and we have a good chunk of armor left so yeah, that was the final mission. Got our 1.5 million there. Lost post of both our arms, but there was nothing important in them. So, after you destroyed the mercenary mechs, our technicians discovered a small nuclear device implanted in the wall of the cave near a structure, structural weak point. The mechs were able to defuse the bomb. If it had exploded, the ice ship would have disintegrated into several smaller chunks, killing everyone on board. Yeah, that was definitely worst wish mission so far, and just because of the poor performance. I don't think it's entirely... It's not because the game can't really run properly, it's... I, I recall that mission always being like that, so at the time I thought it was my computer was in up to the task but now I'm definitely not so sure because it's exactly equally as painful as it was it is something to do with the game engine probably so third enemy attack on the ice ship Paradise Hope was unsuccessful the Rough Riders who have defended the ship throughout its epic journey across the solar system once again defeated enemy mercenary attackers this time the mercenaries' identities were discovered, working for a small unit called Hansen's Reavers. The mercenaries claimed to have been hired by Hydrodynamics Incorporated, a well-known water transport corporation that does volume business here on Leeson. Their corporate office, offices on Leeson Prime have already been raided by local police forces and the FRR investigation committee is already looking into what charges will be brought against the corporation. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Flatline and the Rough Riders have collected their pay and are en route to outreach. Flatline, who has become something of a hero on Leeson, said only it was a lot of work just so you people could have a hot bath. Yeah, we got a 1.2 million out of that. Graven Hague liberated. The Draconis Combine's legal troubles escalated yesterday when Dread Legion mercenaries liberated the Draconis world of Graven Hague, claiming it fair compensation for unpaid wages in their two year periphery war against the Ober Ober Oberon Confederation. Dread Legion's contracts has been locked in Comstar ar ar arbitration for more than three years. The Draconis Combine claim that the Dread Legion failed to fulfill their contractual obligations and have to date paid less than 5% of the promised pay. Despite the gross unfairness of the situation, Comstar arbitrators tended to side with the Combine, pointing to several causes which Dread Legion legal aid had failed to read or consider when they signed the contract. Dread Legion gave up on legal channels yesterday with their invasion of Gravenhaag, so that's a likely contract for us. Rainer leaves things to die. <laughs> On Sinop, Sergeant Deadeye Hunter of Hansel's Rough Riders is being sought in relation to the death of six inexperienced mech warrior cadets in heavy combat. A representative of the academy told reporters that they had been unaware that Sinope was in the midst of a six month skirmish with pirates when they dropped Hunter and the cadets on planet for training maneuvers. When faced by heavy artillery, Sunder Hunter abandoned his mech and rejoined the Rough Rider dropship. 
as he had not yet taught the cadets how to eject, they all died. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Donald PPC is hotter than hot. Donald Weapons Manufacturers recalled yesterday recalled nearly 5,000 PPCs last week due to a faulty firing mechanism that can flood a battle mech with nearly twice the normal amount of heat. Other DMV PPCs have fallen under suspicion and PPCs have been all but pulled off the market. So a little market fluctuation. News of our old friend and... Another likely main contract. One ammo was just damaged but nothing else. So overall, yeah, very expensive repairs, but nothing valuable was really lost. No PPCs, but we have three in storage. Flamers are god awfully annoying though. I'm going to buy one. Maybe in combination of something that doesn't raise your heat. But I, I don't see a general purpose fit where a flamer would be a great idea. Inferno short range missiles might be a better option there. They'll raise the heat to. I'm not sure how much, so I can't say it is worth it. We lost mission. We don't lose them by shooting, but if they get damaged, we'll lose them. Usually the contract... Contracts are giver compensates at least for ammunition is lost. Oh, well, that's not a huge problem, usually. Uh, what? Why is the auto cannon? Ah, I see. Uh, at least I think I do. The crappy prices on some of these are probably the result of us gaining them in before we pack. We didn't buy them, we got them as salvage, so it doesn't let us sell them as a, at a proper price. So we couldn't make any money before the patch by getting blue. Now we could. And I don't see anything all that attractive for us to buy. We could buy extra launchers. Because if we something gets damaged, we have no way of replacing them. But um, not for now. I'll buy a long range missile five. Old dragon picture. That's a good one. Cyclops is might be the best. It's well not with that fit, but it's um ninety ton mech that's just as fast as what we currently have. They're just as fast as the 65 ton version, so this is something we should aim for, for a heavy lance that's re relatively fast. The Janner is nice for to have us as a backup if we have to do some kind of scouting or quick strike things, but overall we should aim for a heavy lance. We don't have the money to really get up totally new mech. So we're just going to have to deal with these two for that time being. Uh, 
I'm not sure if I should refeed the Zeus. We only took the medium. Uh, the range is too short with the short lanes laser, though. We have to go point blank with them. And against the heavier opponents, that's simply not really a good op option anymore. So I'll keep the medium weapons. Accessing personnel. I'm going to keep Hans the boot and take Reggie. He has a heavier fighter. The light fighter is not good against really anything. Faust and his 35 ton SL21 Sholagar are seeking work with any mercenary working out of outreach. Faust wants potential employers to know that despite the many reports about Sholagar's structural and aerodynamic weaknesses, Faust has never had a problem with this aircraft. But I think it's still heavier than the SL-15, SL-21. But it's a better pilot. Uh, I'll wait if we get a heavier aircraft. I don't think we get new mech warriors because we have our basically a full, full group already and I don't mind that. Maybe we could get rid of Lobo. But I don't see a major reason for doing that. It's not like he's bad. Connecting to Comstar contract database. Yeah. What time of the month? What time of the year it is? Ah, oh, January, February, March. Oops. It, I, I hate that you can't simply see the current date in this. It's the most obvious thing to know, and there doesn't appear to be a way to see it. Is there a fine? Yeah. Finances. No date. Accessing personnel. Uh, yeah, we're I'll Connecting end here before accepting the concept. Ooh, salvage rights good. We'll definitely take that so we can't miss that. Um but I can just recheck this video and see or the before we accepted the contract of the ice ships, so we know where it ended and we know and then we afford to take these minor contracts in the middle. It's a solid million for us, maybe almost. We take it. So it's not something that I want to miss out on if we have the extra time to go for these things.